Hello and welcome to Gallant IAs. I am Shilpa and I'll be helping you with your science and technology for both prelims and mains examination, especially for the upcoming 2021 examination. So today we'll be dealing with a particular topic in science, which is space. So before we go into a topic, there are two important resources that UPSC itself give us. What are they? They are the syllabus and the previous year questions. If you take space as an example, you can keep on learning space as much as you want, but that is not the purpose. The purpose is to have quality content for what is being demanded by UPSC. So according to these, we will go through both the syllabus of prelims and mains. We will also go through the, the previous year questions of prelims and mains and come to a strategy. Listen to me carefully, strategy, which is very important to crack this exam over and above the knowledge that you have. Let's start with it. This is the syllabus of preliminary examination. So where does space come in this? It can come in the two subsections, which is current events, current events of national and international importance, and also general science. Now let us go to the syllabus of mains. This is paper 4, that is GS3, and this is a part of the main syllabus that is being shown, where they have mentioned science and technology in particular. Look at the third bullet point. Awareness in the field of IT and space. That is where space comes under the main syllabus. So we are done with the syllabus part. We know where space comes under preliminary syllabus and the main syllabus. And what is left? The previous year question papers. Let's go through the previous year question papers of mains. These are a few previous year questions that I have selected for you. Let us go through each one by dividing them into parts as per UPSC demand so that you understand what exactly you have to write as an answer. Let us go to the first question. The question was asked last year in 2019 mains. Question goes like this. What is India's plan to have its own space station and Part two was, how will it benefit our space program? If you look at it carefully, the first part, what? What is India's plan to have its own space station demands certain kind of relevant information? Information from you. The second part, how? How will it benefit our space program? How? This shows or this checks your ability to analyze its advantages or benefits that we reap after the space mission is completed. Let's go to another question. India has achieved remarkable success in unmanned space mission including Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter mission but has not ventured into manned space mission both in terms of technology and logistics. Explain critically. Now for the sake of understanding this question, we can divide it into two. The first part is India has achieved remarkable success in unmanned space mission, including Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter mission, where UPSC itself says a certain information. Now what is expected from a candidate is that the candidate should be able to furnish relevant information or at least start with such an information about the Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter mission. And the second part, if you look into it carefully, has not ventured into manned space mission both in terms of technology and logistics. 
explain critically. The question is why? Why haven't been able to go to the mad mission? What is the limitation that the space programs have? Again, it checks your ability to analyze. Maybe this is from a material or this is through the news that you have been following. But what is being checked is your ability to analyze of why, what is the reason or how, like we have seen in the previ previous question, the last question. The first part again is about information. Let's go to the next question. Discuss India's achievements in the field of space science and technology. How the application of this technology has helped India in its socio-economic development. This question can be easily divided into two. The first part, discuss India's achievements in the field of space science and technology. The demand is relevant information. Information. The second part, how the application of this technology has helped India in its socio-economic development. The second part deal with how the application or the benefits, your ability to analyze the benefit of the program. Again, analyze or how, like what we have seen in the previous question. Let's go through one more question. What do you understand by standard positioning system and protection positioning system in the GPS era? Discuss the advantages India perceives from its ambitious IRNSS program employing just seven satellites. Divided into two, as we have done earlier, the first part demands concept and information about that concept. The second part demands advantages, your ability to analyze the advantages IRNSS offers. It again fits into our division of questions. Now, let us keep this very, very simple. Every question that UPSC has been asking all these years contains two parts generally. One is the general information and the other is the application or analysis of this information. Now, how, how do you furnish general information? What are you supposed to follow? Uh, when you read a news or when you read a material, how are you supposed to collect information that will be beneficial for you while you write an answer? Look at these sub points. These are going to help you. Under the general information part, what, who, when, where, all these sub points are going to help you. Under the application or analysis part, generally what you are supposed to answer are why or how. If it is about manned mission, if they are asking about India's manned space mission, under the general information part, generally you can write about what is India's manned mission, who is doing it, which will include ISRO and related departments, when it is being conducted, or where is it being conducted. Okay, that comes under the general information. Now, the application or analysis part contains why. Why is India conducting such a manned mission? Or how is it going to help or benefit our socio-economic development or India's position in the global scenario? So these are the two parts that are generally asked in a main question. Now UPSC has told in prior to what is being expected from a UPSC candidate. It, it reads so, the main examination is intended to assess the overall intellectual traits and depth of understanding of the candidates rather than merely the range of their information and memory. Now, the candidate must give relevant, meaningful and succinct answers which, which says that you should give precise, relevant and meaningful answers. So when you go for general information and application and analysis, 
always keep this what UPSC demands in mind.